British breweries are reporting a sharp increase in brewing costs since the vote last June to leave the EU. Much of the equipment, such as the big brewing vats and machines used for making the specialised brews, is imported from mainland Europe. Added to that, the pound fell against the dollar after the referendum, and that put up the cost of hops imported from the US sharply. A lot of the equipment that we buy from time to time comes from Europe, so that's all costing more at the moment. Uh, and the ongoing cost of ingredients uh, is also uh, has gone up quite a lot. With more breweries than any London borough, Hackney has become the brewery capital. So for smaller brewing firms, faced with prices like this, does that mean the current craft beer renaissance may come to an abrupt end? The taps aren't dry just yet. A whole row of railway arches in Hackney Central has been earmarked for more brewery startups and food outlets to move into. About six months ago, this whole area, all these arches along here, were full of um, mechanics, uh, been moved on or moved out, and uh, the plan is to tie in this as a development to, to kind of go alongside um, a bigger development which is just around the corner here, which is sort of based on fashion. Some, though, are sceptical about the real reason for the price rises. The cost of anything is really always down to the pound when related to international exchange. Um, these guys have got hop contracts, the brewers do. Um, if their malt is coming from here in the UK, it shouldn't have any effect. Producing craft beer is clearly a skilled business. Some fans of Hackney's increasingly famous brews say they'll pay for their pint, whatever the price. People that love it um, and that really taste it um, are willing to pay for that. Craft brewing, if you're still like small and you're like with the local pubs here and you still have the audience of real like craft beer audience, um, I reckon the it wouldn't have that much of a big effect. Trina John Charles, Hackney, ELL Plus.